Hi thinkers, welcome to Thinkix Academy. In this video, I'm going to review this book which is Cracking the Coding Interview Book. I've bought this book 7 months ago and I have completed 70% to 80% of this book. So I have a great uh, good idea of what is there inside of this book and uh, how this book is going to be really helpful for you guys and why you should buy this book or why you should not consider to buy this book right so we will discuss all the key points about this book and also some of the tips related to cracking the coding interview also right so first of all we will divide this video into three parts which is beginners intermediates and advanced so based on that i will tell you uh, if you are at that stage whether you should uh, consider this book or not and how it will help you to go to the next stage and the next stage and finally cracking the interview so before getting started, make sure to like this video, subscribe our channel to support us. If you will support more, I will create more videos of these of this type where I will review more coding books like C++ and I have so many books. So I will review them for you guys so that you can make a good choice of which book is really helpful for your computer science career. So let's get started. Now, first of all, if you are a beginner, I think this book is not meant for beginner. Although if you will see what's inside uh, on this back page, there is written what's inside. It says a point that it has an extensive coverage of essential topics like data structures and algorithms. But I think that it is not good for beginners. Beginners are basically those who have good fundamentals and basics of programming language like C++, Java or maybe Python. And maybe they have some uh, basic idea of so a few data structures. But if you're looking this book for actually understanding uh, some algorithms like searching or sorting algorithms, this book will not give you a very good coverage. It does not have a good amount of content to explain a particular algorithm. Basically what they do is they have a per they show you a particular data structure and then they will just write one or two lines about the data structure and the operations that can be performed on that particular data structure. And then what they will do is they will just show you a very simple code and sometimes it's complex code. It is very smaller, but it's complex. So for beginners, you will struggle to actually understand the concept, right? So I think it is not that good for the people who want to actually go to the beginners to the intermediate level. I think for that you must study some courses like I have created a data structures and algorithms course. You can study from that playlist. I'll give the link in the description below. So uh, you can actually get started there. And once you will move to intermediate, let's see how much useful this book is for. Right. So now let's move on to the intermediates. Intermediate are those people who have actually covered the data structures and uh, algorithms in detail. Right. So you now have a basic idea, a good idea of how uh, of uh, some few data structures and algorithms but you do not have the right direction to crack the coding interview and maybe you want to now apply for the coding interview but you are actually a little bit confused maybe that uh, what are the things that are more required and I think this book is really very good and I recommend this for uh, you also if you are an intermediate. Now what this book does it has content related to interview purpose only right as the name says cracking the coding interview the whole objective revolves around the interview process so uh, a few tips which i have already given in this video which is how to master algorithms like a pro uh, those tips comes from this video where i have discussed how the algorithms and how you will have to study uh, for the interviews also right this book is very uh, important if you have all the concepts, but you haven't solved any problems that will come in the interviews. So the interviewer is not going to ask you a certain algorithm like they will not ask you what is bubble sort or selection sort. What they're going to do is they're going to give you a problem. That problem will require that some particular algorithms and those algorithms are important to study. But even if you have the knowledge of algorithms, it is not mandatory that you will be able to solve the problems right so you will have to solve the problems and you can see 
uh, in the front page of this book it is written 189 programming questions and their solutions so as i always say there are a lot of set of questions available uh, if you go on different websites like lead code code chef hacker rank there are so many algorithms available and that will overwhelm you and you will get more confused like uh, you will get somewhat demotivated also that there are so many algorithms how will i crack them so this book contains very specific amount of uh, programming questions which are related to only those topics which will be able to help you in the interview right so they, this makes whole process concise and a, a direct approach also so it is helpful for the intermediate people who want to crack the uh, interview but they do not have the right spark the right direction this book has some algorithm patterns right uh, as i have already uh, told you that i have created a video on how to master algorithms like a pro i have told that in that in that video also that algorithms there are so many algorithms but there are some only specific categories of algorithms some classes of algorithms like dynamic programming or greedy algorithm or recursive algorithms there are certain classes you need to just solve some of the problems related to these patterns and this book in inside of the uh, you can see this book it contains few uh, i will say the most accurate amount of uh, algorithm patterns that you will be able to master this book also contains topics like system design databases so they will give you a good idea and uh, for example if you want to learn in system design scalability and how to design a system what is the approach to design a system and what are the questions that the interviewer is going to give you right so examples are also there so this video can uh, act as a help book not a complete packet but it will give you the right direction right then you will have to use that direction to follow up and to learn more and gain more knowledge related to those topics it also covers topics which are very important like big o time complexity analysis very important for the coding interviews and that will be really helpful if you will study it from here that topic is really explained well then we have bit manipulation bit manipulation is also one type of you can say algorithm pattern which is used a lot in the uh, in optimizing a lot of problems so that is also important and uh, it also contains more topics like uh, some different uh, system design patterns and some also topics like graphs and advanced topics like trees are also there and the questions that's the main part of this book it contains a lot of problems you will solve them one by one i don't uh, expect you to solve all the problems but if you will start solving some of them you will get a basic idea and you will be able to if, even if you study this book 60% i think it will be more than enough to crack most of the interviews but if you are serious about getting in placed into bigger companies like amazon microsoft i think you will have to go in depth in this book right so this book will give you a very good direction a very good uh, you can say road map also and it will also tell you how to crack the interview the basic things that no one will tell you like some of the tips are there which uh, are not found in problems books but this book will teach the whole interview process what the interviewer is expecting from you how to solve a particular problem when you get a problem and uh, there are some more very useful tips so as an intermediate i will suggest you to buy this book even if you don't buy this book you can actually uh, you can even crack the coding interview then also uh, basically you will have to do more research but just to save your time this book will be really helpful right you don't need to do a lot of research on the programming and uh, algorithm patterns and system design uh, so this book will give you a very good idea right now let's move on to the advanced part which is let's say you have already solved some problems let's say a lot of problems on lead code and some others also i think there are still some topics that you will miss out for advanced people who have studied uh, interview process also and they have a good knowledge this book can act as a help book for them right they can uh, use this book as a reference to understand and revise more topics so if you are going to an interview uh, let's say there is an interview one month later if you will study this book for one month as a reference book it is going to really help you a lot uh, for revision part it is really good 
the algorithms of uh, or some data structures and uh, there are some more things they are also concise so if you already know a topic let's say you already know how to implement a graph data structure but if you will study uh, revise it from this book you will understand it more right so that's all for this tutorial that's all for this video and i think you you have got a good idea of why should you should buy this book or not and if you uh, if you want you can comment down if you want some more videos of these type where i will review more coding books related to different programming languages so that's all for this video thanks for watching <music>